my beloved brethren in the Lord. 21 years ago, I was here. And I still do remember the carpet was color green. <laughs> and when I came inside, I said, many things have been changed. Many things have changed. Beloved, when I first came to this church, you blessed me with a seed. The seed that I received from this church that is talking of the financial support funds that you have given me. I took that back to the Philippines. And right now, you're going to see how that seed that had been planted in the Philippines now becomes a fruit bearing tree. And you are a part of this because you were an instrument for us to buy a property to build all this facility that we have right now and the ministry that has now grown by the grace of God from just a seed now to a bearing fruit tree. Eastside Baptist Church is an SBC in the Philippines. And right now we have a good number of ministries that we are having. We have now an, an island ministry. We have now an FM station that preaches the word, radio station. And we have also our academy from kinder to grade 12. And beloved, I would like to report to you now what is going on in the Philippines because when we go back, we will be starting another ministry, an island ministry where I am raising $10,000 to buy the property and to build a small building. If you can be a part of that project, to God all be the glory. And, but, all right, so this morning, let me... Share to you God's word in Luke chapter 5. If you remember the story in Luke chapter 5 about three fishermen that went out fishing that night. Peter, James, and John one night went to a fishing. And while they, you know, while they went to a fishing, you know, they were not expecting that they will not caught anything or something that night. Because the proper way to fish, especially in the Philippines, mostly fishermen went out to fishing during the night. Because the fish cannot see your bait and other things, the nets. But this time, Peter, James, and John went out fishing. And to their disappointment, they caught nothing. In Luke chapter 5, if you read your Bible from 1 to the 11th. Why an experienced fisherman, well-trained fisherman, with all their expertise as a fisherman, and when they went out for a fishing spree that night, they caught nothing. Notice the word, they caught nothing. There was nothing that they have caught that night. Why? In their experience, in their expertise, and in their training, training, they caught nothing. And by the way, listen, your expertise and training and experience in anything, let me remind you and let me tell you this. If you do something and you do not acknowledge God, those things will become nothing. Let me repeat this. When these men went out fishing, 
one thing that they miss out. What was this? This is to acknowledge God of their trip to go out fishing. And by the way, to acknowledge God doesn't mean that you are weak. Doesn't mean that you 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 lack anything. It is just that God wanted you to acknowledge Him for what? For direction and for guidance. Let me tell you. Do you know your future? Have you seen your future? No. But God has already seen everything ahead of you. Amen? And that is why God wanted us believers not to depend on our expertise and experience. We must always depend to ask God of His guidance and direction in our lives as believers. If you want to success, succeed in this life, number one, do not forget to acknowledge Him. Because in acknowledging Him, the Bible says, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, in all thy ways, acknowledge Him in all, not in part, in all. And He shall direct your path. Sometimes the GPS will guide us to our direction, but there are times they miss out the direction. Amen? But not on God. Not on God, because God knows everything ahead. And you know why? Why God needs, why you need for, for the direction and guidance? Because we have not seen our future. We have not seen what is ahead of us. We do not know if the devil has put something in the way to destroy us. That's why we always will need God's guidance and direction by acknowledging him. As our Lord and personal Savior, as our company, as our friend. Secondly, why this men miss out the blessing that night? Not just they miss out because of they were not able to acknowledge God. Secondly, they were too dependent on their accomplishment. An achievement in the past. Beloved, your achievement and accomplishment in the past, that is good, but that is the past, that is not the present. When we talk about the present, you still need God, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be with you. You know why? For without Him, we can do nothing. And the reason why we acknowledge him, for with God, nothing is impossible. That's the reason why that we should acknowledge him. The reason why we should always have him into our lives. And, and another thing, when Jesus Christ went to Peter and John. That was already the morning, the following day. Jesus Christ was asking them if they have any catch at all. And Peter reasoned out and said, Master, we have toiled all the night. We have fished all the night. We have done our best all the night. Give it our best, best, best shot all the night. But we caught nothing. But nevertheless, at thy word. Lord, because this is your word, I will let down the net again, even if it is morning. In other words, beloved, Peter did not doubt at all upon God's command, upon God's word. He followed his instruction to what? Runs out into the deep to catch fishes. And that was already morning. And beloved, do not, 
Don't you ever doubt on the word of God because God's word will always remain to be true to every believer this morning, members of this church. When God said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought, Peter said, nevertheless, at thy word, we have toiled all the night and have caught nothing. But since this is your word, since you have commanded me to do so, I will let down the net. What happened? They enclosed a great multitude of fishes because Peter now realized his mistake, his lapses. That he never asked God for his guidance and direction. That he did not acknowledge God for himself because he was too dependent on his experience and expertise. And now when God told him, launch out into the deep, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Beloved, at this point in time, Peter already realized his mistakes, his lapses. That's why he said, at thy word, I will let down the net. What follows after that? The Bible says, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes that even their nets began to break. They include a multitude of blessing because Peter now realized his mistakes. Unless and until you realize your mistake and get back to the Lord, that will be the time that you will receive the blessing of God. Christians, listen, we are not perfect. But nevertheless, even if we are perfect, we are not perfect. We still need Jesus in our lives and in our hearts. The reason why there are some people today that, that are not anymore in churches. Because they trust themselves more than they can trust God. And let me remind us to, this morning. All we need to do is to continue to trust God, is to continue to acknowledge God, and is to continue to believe in God. Never cast a doubt in his word and be always ready and be always willing to do what he tells you to do. And that day, they enclose a great multitude of fishes and they have they had been now an instrument to those that have none to share their blessing that morning what a blessing and beloved thank you for sharing your resources 21 years ago to us taking back to the philippines and that is now the result of your being obedient, not questioning what God is doing. And who, who, who is this man? We did not know this man asking for something. Beloved, thank you for not doubting the word of God, for telling you to do so, to give that help, resources for the ministry. And now, Again, in closing, it was just a seed from my hand. And today, it, is now, it now becomes a fruit-bearing tree. And praise God, to God be the glory, that Middlewood Baptist Church had been a part of this success in the ministry. Remember, Always to acknowledge God in whatever thing you do. Secondly, do not doubt the word of God. No 
most importantly, let us all live the way God wants us to live as believers. Lord, thank you for this morning's message. Thank you for everyone that are here. May everyone have been blessed by that word. And Lord, I commit everything to you now. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.